Hello everyone, in this video we'll see what is Pydantic and why it is essential for building efficient and scalable agentic workflows. Pydantic is a widely used data validation library for Python. This allows you to define structured, validated and reliable data models using simple Python syntax. We will try running this code and understand the logic. Here if you see I'm importing base model and field from Pydantic and I'm creating a class called Miraki Devices. And I have defined multiple keys here. We'll check each one. For the device ID, I'm saying that this has to be an integer and its minimum value should be zero and maximum should be 999. The full description of this script is available in the YouTube video. I'll add that also in the description. You can watch that. Here I'll quickly run through this. And if I try giving any other value, I'll give thousand and run it. We'll get the value error. It is saying that device ID should be less than 999. This is called ellipsis and we use this as a placeholder for the default value. This also I explained in the main video and host name I'm keeping it as mandatory. It is a string type and for serial number it is an optional value and I'm giving none. If you don't define serial number, let me run it and show you. It is giving none. Then for MAC address I'm setting a default value. If I don't set MAC address here, it will be taking the default value and the output you will be able to see current MAC address is 001 because I'm giving it here. And for the model name, I'm giving a regex pattern. I'm saying that this should have all these characters, capital A to Z, number zero to nine and hyphen. And its minimum length should be three and maximum 10. This is a quick walkthrough. The complete explanation is available in the YouTube video. And for validating IP address, I'm importing pydantic.networks IP any address. If we give it in this format, this can accept any IPv4 or IPv6 address. Then to add a dictionary, you need to give it in this format dictionary and two key value pairs I'm giving. And you can see here. And if you want to print the ID or name, we can give it in this format. I'll give ID here, run it. So here we can see the ID we have passed. Then for the device type, I have given literal and it has to be any of these values. If I give firewall one and run it, this will throw an error. It will say that input should be any of these values. And if you want to add the list, we can give it in this format list and within that you need to give string 